Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know of this, I guess I don't want to call it a new, but we'll just say new fossil farming method. Now with this method, basically the goal of it or the point of it is to farm fossils without spending any, any, uh, what is not Azure, right? You know what I'm talking about, whatever, sulfite. You do have to spend like a little bit to get it started, but once you get it started, you don't need to spend any. So uh, if you'd like to read this Reddit post, it kind of explains it a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to show you a video because it's a lot easier to do that. Just to confirm for you guys, because this method seems a bit question mark, it has been confirmed by Bex, who is a Grinding Gear Games developer, uh, or, you know, works for the, the community. Um, it is an intended game mechanic. You will not be banned for doing this unless, you know, further notice. This was posted a day ago. So... The number one important thing to note is you're going to want movement speed, you're going to want movement speed, and you're going to want movement speed. You're also going to want phasing, uh, and basically, if you've seen any type of the delve farming depth, you know, darkness farmer builds, it's pretty much like that. So, uh, there's going to be some important things to note, and I'm going to try to explain this really easily. You simply uh, are going to run a zone... And after you run the zone, you're not going to blow up any walls. If you blow up any walls, the method is scuffed. You have to restart. Basically, it works like this. Um, say there's a, say between here and here is a breakable wall. Here and here is a breakable wall. And here and here is a breakable wall. We're just hypothetically. If you were to blow up the breakable wall, the instance cannot reset itself. Because the breakable wall is what has the really small chance of having the good fossils. So we're going to be farming the generic fossils. Um, you need to have breakable walls in your area because the breakable wall is what tells the game, hey, the wall hasn't been broken, reset the zone. You need to find something that fits within the five block radius of how this, this delve mechanic works. I'm not really here to explain that to you. I'm just going to show you what it looks like to do it incorrectly. And of course, you can do whatever method you want, but I'm going to show you the invisible wall uh, that we're talking about, and then we're just going to go right on into the actual method. So I'm going to take this and follow it all the way, and keep following it all the way. All the way, we're going to follow this, and you'll notice there's going to be an invisible wall that's going to interrupt us. That's why I had to make this video like four times, because I couldn't exactly understand how this works. So we're going to keep going, keep going, following the delve, following the delve, and we hit the wall. So this is the end of the, basically, the five block radius here. The way to bypass this is, say, for example, your delve was going to go here and then down and then loop back across. So it makes like a U. Then technically there would be no wall here because you would, you know, you would make a U-turn here and go back. So if you want like a really long one, then you can go ahead and essentially do that. But we're not here to show you that. So let's go ahead and show you the actual method. So we're going to go to our Delph. Now, I'd recommend for you to clear it one time with the, qual the crawler because that way you have the light radius. And let me show you what we can do. And I bring flares just to kill mobs to reset my flash charges. So we're going north here. Okay, this is a side area. We have pretty much just oh, the Astramentus here or whatever it's called. That's breakable wall. We leave that alone. We're going to go check north. Here we have lost armor. Um, I don't care about the azurite. Let's go south. South we have more azurite. It's always azurite when I make the videos. Now these spawns are random. You don't know what exactly is going to spawn. So sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you get completely nothing. But the point of this is efficiency and speed. Not just doing it one time and then, you know, saying you have bad loot. There's the breakable wall. Uh, we got another resonator stash over here. Nothing over there. Let's check down. Pristine fossil. Okay, uh, we want to check here. It's also really easy to use this method because all you're going to do is go the way that the light is not going. Because the light is telling you the right way, you're trying to go the wrong way. So we're just going to reset. So click, reset, and go. This was a really, this is actually the worst one I've done. I found literally nothing. So now we're just going to go and run back north again. Actually, could there be something right here? I think that might be too close to like the area so since i don't have any flasks i'm just going to find the nearest pack of mobs which is actually going to be here but this is a breakable wall so never mind okay here's going to be some mobs there's a resonator stash now i have this in a higher level zone uh, i do believe that 
the higher the zone, the better slash worse the mods can roll. For example, you can roll like quantity, and if you have quantity, I do believe it affects like um, the currency chests. That's what I was told from someone else. There should be a breakable wall. Yep, there's a breakable wall. Lost wealth. Chaos or Unfortunately, there is some delay going on. I don't know what's with the audio sync delay that's happening. Hashtag blame Twitch for everything. Uh, and since... So this is a good way to, to understand this. I just ran into this zone, and you can see there's nothing here. What that means is there's no breakable wall, because this is literally the first side area before we started the delve, which means this is where we started the delve. So we're done. So we just restart. Yeah, the fossils roll based off your biome. I assume people understand that when watching this video. I'm just saying, like, I could have 15 Scorch fossils uh, one run and zero the next run. Oh, I actually have no more flares. Uh, that's probably not very smart. I've been spamming them way too much. Rip. Oh, never mind. Found six. Good game. Now, the advantage of doing this, regardless of the whole, like, sulfite gain, I, remember, I'm playing SSF, so I have, like, I don't really do Trade League or anything, um, but it's cool because it's not really OP, it's just nice for target farming. So if you're like, oh, well, you know, I'm trying to find Scorch Fossils, lo and behold, you come to the place where I am, you find your Scorch Fossils. If you're looking for Aberrant, you know, you would go to a Chaos one. So we skip. Nice resonator stash. I again wasted my... Oh, there we go. Wasted my flares. Okay. So now that you understand the method of farming, this is pretty much what I found. Uh, it's pretty bad compared to what I normally would get. But you pretty much understand the idea of how it works, and it's pretty nice. It's nice because it's, like I said, you know, crafting in Path of Exile is extremely RNG, and at least being able to kind of force farm and target farm certain aspects of what you're trying to do just makes a lot more builds a lot easier to get started, and crafting a lot of endgame gear a lot easier. Um, anyway, yeah, and there's like the no sulfide cost, so that's pretty much about it. I uh, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, I don't really see too much of an advantage to like, for example, um, like, say you found one that goes like this and like this and like this. Sometimes they're like really complicated. So sometimes it's better to just farm a straight line, even though it's really short. You can just farm it, reset, farm it, reset, farm it, reset. It, it doesn't really matter. You know, you should try to find what works best for you personally. Anyway, though, like I said, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow.